Right. Okay. Let's focus. Let's get back. Okay. Um, let's just remind ourselves where we were. I'm just looking at my notes here. Uh, we just configured our sales page and we configured our download page. Okay, good. Um, now, this is what we need to do. Well, th the immediate thing we need to do is we now need to configure our payment link using PayPal. And all this will slot into place in a few moments time if you've never done this before you'll actually see where it all kind of links in with each bit of the puzzle when you configure a payment link using PayPal you actually tell PayPal where to send somebody after their payment has gone through successfully and we're going to send them to the download page, of course, because that's the process, isn't it? Sales page, then they pay using PayPal, and they get sent to the download page. So if we are going to tell PayPal that we want our now customer to be sent to the download page, we need to know where that download page is online before we can create the PayPal link because we need to tell PayPal where to send somebody after they pay. And if we haven't actually got the address online of where that download page is, then we can't create the payment link. Does that make sense? So what I'm saying is we actually need to know where our download page is on the web next. That's kind of the next thing to do. It kind of feels a little bit out of sync because you think you'd create your PayPal link next but we can't do that until we can tell PayPal where to send somebody after they buy so we need to know that destination first we need to know that final address first so what we need to do is we need to upload the download page and we need to get that online okay does that make sense we're gonna upload the download page right now we're gonna get it actually on the web and um, Okay, getting lots of yeses coming through. Wonderful. Okay. Now, again, I said at the beginning of this webinar, this is not a webinar about um, uploading or about FileZilla, which is a, an uploading client, or about FTP, which is a technical name for uploading. I'm aware that some on this webinar have never even heard of FileZilla. I am aware of that. I'm aware that many have as well. Um, so I'm just going to go in and upload. And if you are unfamiliar with how to upload, I do have lots of other videos explaining exactly how to do this. So please don't be overwhelmed if the next two minutes looks a bit confusing. So I'm at my desktop here and I'm just going to open up FileZilla which will allow me to upload. Now for the sake of this webinar I'm going to use one of my domain names that I don't use which is called, he says looking it up here, List Building with Chris. This is a future product that I'm thinking of creating uh, when I get time. <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, but I haven't as of yet, but I got the domain name. So I'm going to use the domain name right now. So I'm going to link to, or rather, I'm going to upload to List Building with Chris. Uh, and in fact, I'll tell you what, let's quickly go to the web right now and let's just look at that. ListBuildingWithChris.com. Um, and let's see what's online. So look, I'm looking at the web right now. This is List Building with Chris. And if you do it as well at home, you'll see that there's nothing at that domain name right yet. But there will be in moments. So List Building with Chris. Let's go back to FileZilla. And now I'm going to connect. And as I say, I'm not going to go through how this all works. You may have noticed, girls, that I have to stop talking when I type something in because... Being a man, I can't multitask. I can't talk and type because I always make a mistake. Casing point. Um, let me just type in my password. There you go. I, I really couldn't talk and type, could I? Um, OK, so I'm now connecting to my hosting account for list building with Chris. Let's quickly do that. There we go, I've now connected. And again, I'm, I'm just gonna go through this bit quite quickly because this isn't, a, this isn't a webinar about uploading. I could easily spend an hour and a half explaining this. I'm looking for my public underscore HTML folder, which is where we upload everything into, and it is blank. Um, let me just get my highlighter here. There's nothing. And that's just been kind of confirmed when we just went to the web and went to list building with Chris there was nothing there because look there's nothing in here 
so that makes sense. Let's now upload my download page. This is the only reason we're doing this now, because we need to tell PayPal where to send somebody. So I'm looking for my download page on the right, on the left-hand side of my screen, and I'm simply going to upload. And again, I'm aware that for some, this might be relatively quick, thinking, what's he doing here? As I say, this isn't a webinar about, about uploading. So I am intentionally doing this quickly. But now we can see here, let me get my highlighter again, I've just uploaded my download page. So this is now online. It looks like it's on my computer, but it's actually at my server, which I think is in Chicago. So download.html is now on the web. Download.html. And if anybody would like to go and look, please do. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. Download.html. So what we would do is go to listbuildingwithchris.com slash download.html. Oops, do you know what I've forgotten to do? In fact, I'll show you. Let's just go, let me hit enter. Look, it doesn't quite look right, does it? Because I've, I haven't uploaded any of my images. In fact, it's actually quite, quite convenient I've made this mistake. All I've done is I've uploaded just the, the raw HTML file. I haven't uploaded any of the images around it. So let's go back to FileZilla. All the images are in my images folder here. So let me just upload my images folder. This might take a few moments. Um, and in fact, I'm also going to upload the CSS folder as well, just to make sure it all formats and looks correctly. Eventually, we will upload all of these files. We don't need to do that right yet. So I'm just going to spend a few, this should only take a couple of moments uploading. Um, and then once they're uploaded, we'll go back to the web and see how it looks. Do you know what I could actually, I'm just thinking for time, I might even upload, in fact I think I will, I'm just thinking aloud here, just because it's quite a large product, it's about 84 megabytes, I'm actually going to upload the files themselves just to save us about three minutes a bit later. So I'll do that in a second. Let's just wait for these images to finish. I think we're almost there. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to upload the actual product itself, but we can leave that while it's in operation. Now, if I just refresh my download page, now, hopefully, it will look as it, as it should in Composer with all the images around it. So let me click Refresh, and it's kind of just slowly all coming together. I might need to refresh it because it's only just happened. It's amazing, isn't it, the web? This is what I love about the web. I mean, it, it literally, this was, didn't exist a couple of seconds ago. It just was nothing. Now we've created it instantly. Isn't it incredible? This is one of the reasons I'm just so passionate about this business. You know, we have a window to the world, boom, instantly. This wasn't even there 20 seconds ago. Now it's on the web. Isn't it incredible? And then once we start working on traffic, you know, and building a list and things, you know, I'm sure you're beginning to see how this business works. It does take work, as I always say. It took me six months before I made anything. Uh, but there's never been an opportunity to start a business like there is now once we spend some time learning these skills and not allowing ourselves to get stressed and frustrated, which would happen in any business, regardless whether it's the web or not. Um, okay, so let's just recap. What have we done? We've uploaded our download page. This is now on the web. Literally, if you go to listbuildingwithchris.com slash download.html, you will see this page. And if I click on this, I'll be able to download the product. In fact, technically, I won't write yet because as I'm talking to you now, the product is in the process of being uploaded. But in a couple of minutes, once it's uploaded, I will be able to. And we'll do this in about five, ten minutes' time. We'll actually test the whole thing. But the reason for doing all this, all this, is because we need this. Let me get my highlighter. We need this here. Can I ask, can you see my highlighter, by the way, when I'm using it at the top here? Um, I can't actually see the highlighter at my end. You can. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you ever so much, guys, ladies and gentlemen. So the, the reason, again, let's just, I always like to kind of back up and remind ourselves what we're doing. Uh, the reason we've uploaded the download page is because we need this address here to give to PayPal. Now, this is known as a URL. 
this address is http colon forward slash forward slash www dot listbuildingwithchris dot com slash download dot html is known as a URL. A URL is basically a web address for anything. Anything that's online has its own URL. So we need to make a note of this URL. So I'm going to click and drag so it's all highlighted and I'm going to right click on my mouse. And I'm going to select copy and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little notepad document and I'm quite organized like this. I always like to make notes of things that we need when I create things. So let me just write in here download page and I'm just paste, pasting in the URL there. Okay, so URL, in case you've never heard of that terminology before, this is it. Perfect. We've got the URL for the download page. This is exactly why we uploaded the download page because now we're going to go to PayPal and we're going to tell PayPal to send somebody to this after their payment is successfully received. 